Greetings folks, my name is Rango Animations. Now last year I uploaded a video called The Top 10 Worst Object Shows where I talked about the object shows that should go down the crapper. However, people didn't really like my choices, especially this guy. So, I decided to make a video called The Top 5 Best Object Shows You Should Totally Watch Right Now. Number 5, Level Up. If you like fat gummy bears, then this show is the right for you. Now, this show is created by an emo Yoshi, so, so that gives, so that's all the sign that it's gonna be an experience of your lifetime. Like, a Level Up is one of the object shows ever. Now, this show goes into detail of how it takes the regular object show formula and expands upon it. Like, we have a fat gummy bear and, uh, um, a fat gummy bear and, uh, I would go into more detail, but... Zelly animation blocked me because her apology was straight ass. You shouldn't follow her. Number cuatro. Hey guys, object show. Object quick. Este programa toma la fórmula de objeto y la hace diez veces mejor. También tiene personajes muy divertidos como cake, spray, rocket y hook. Quien es muy bonito. También Yoshi Studios trabaja para mí. Así que si quieres volver a ver a Yoshi, subscribe abajo. Number E, Object of Pose. Now this is definitely a relic of our time. A relic of booty cheeks. You like filler? We got filler. You like ripoffs? We got ripoffs. It's amazing. If you like seeing the horrifying monsters pretending to be human, then you'll definitely like this show. You like scenes of characters swearing and calling each other the n-word? You'll love this show. Awesome, but now it just sucks because you've replaced with this n You like scenes that's basically the writer's barely disguised fetish? Well, then you're gonna love Optic Oppose. Much better. Number at sign, Object Trek. You ever want an object show that play it safe? No? Well, too bad. But this show is actually really good. Just look at it. Look at the eyes. Look at everyone. They look so chibi. I mean, they all have the same expression. So I guess they're all Mary Sue's because they all look so nice and they all are nice. Also, I hate this guy's voice. Hi there. I'm Megaphone. I suppose you're all wondering why I've gathered you all here. So basically, this object show is basically a preschool version of an object show. Blah! You should watch it though, but you can't really comment on this guy's videos because YouTube kids took over. Ha 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 L! Before we get to number one, here's some honorable mentions. Object Bash. The show would be on the list, but the only joke is swearing. Ha ha ha! I mean, funny, but... Come on, man. The Nightly Manor, just know. I I agree. Um, yeah, the show should have ended with the first season. Teapot would be on its list, but it suffers the fatal flaw of having Rocky. And finally, number one, the best show you should start watching right now. It's not I I three. It's not one. Not any of that hoity toity rich bull crap. Number one is Battle for All Stars. You ever wanted to see the BFDI characters be put in a new setting with new locations and crap? Then this is the show for you! All the characters have different personalities, which is good because no one wants to see the same personalities they had for 13 years. We also have funny moments like this! Yeah, I'm gonna say in here. Oh, what's wrong? Why are you mad, stupid idiot, stupid? And this. Oh, hey, Kanye West. I'm Kanye West! And this. And also, the ending is immaculate. Now, the first episodes of the show aren't really that good per se, but every show's first episode is bad. That's a fact. Also, the creator is very handsome, but back off, he's mine. So yeah, you should go watch it. So yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. It's a, it's a pleasure having everyone on here, even though these shows are pretty bad. Oh yeah, and did I mention, it's today is the 1st of April, so it's... So yeah, fools. Um, goodbye! Rainbow Animations!